Welcome back to R Programming 101. Today we're talking about group by and summarize. These are two functions that really work nicely together. When you wrangle your data, you're going to use them all of the time. So welcome back to R Programming 101. My name is Greg Martin. Let's jump right in. Booyashaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R Programming videos on everything. Right. First of all, first of all, we always work with, oh, sorry, ignore that yellow. We always work with the tidyverse. You install packages, tidyverse, and then you call it using the library function. The tidyverse expands the vocabulary of R, and you'll see how we work with it. If, you if you're not familiar with it, just watch this video. It'll be a nice introduction, right? Next, remember, R has got built-in data sets, and I always use those data sets to, to do my lessons so that you can practice this at home. The best way for you to learn is to replicate what I'm doing at home, right? So the data set that I'm using, which is you've got it, you know, just so that you know, if I go, if I do this data open and close brackets, you can see all of the data sets that are built into R. You can use any of these to practice. It's a great way to learn. Okay, let's close that and go back here. So one of them that I like to use to practice is M sleep. It's mammal sleep, right? We've got all of our mammals here, cheetahs, lions, blah, 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 blah. And then they're categorized by omnivores, herbivores, et cetera, et cetera. And then we've got characteristics of their sleep right there. So we're gonna look at some of this today. That's view M sleep will show you the, the, the data set. Uh, names is quite a nice little function because you can just ask R to show you what, and I, I often use names because then all of the names of the variables pop up. What I like about that is I can cut and paste them into my code so I don't make spelling mistakes because one of the biggest problems when you're writing code is you kind of you've misspelled something. So I'll just cut and paste them straight from there. Let's look at the code for uh, group by and summarize. We start off when we're working in the tidyverse. Your starting point is your data object. In this case, it's the data set called M sleep. Whoops. Okay. Whoop, go back there. All right. Okay. The next thing is this pipe operator, right? And that simply means and then. So we're piping this data object into the next line of code. And this this drop NA, I'm basically just going to remove missing values. NA is not available. So drop NA. I'm removing missing valuable variables from the uh, sleep rem variable and from the vor variable. And I'll just show you what I'm going to be doing here, right? I'm looking at this variable here, vor. It's a categorical variable. And that's going to be quite important when we talk about group by, okay? And I'm going to ask R to take each of these categories and look at another variable, okay? So we could take rem sleep over here. Oh, my drawing is terrible. I've crossed out half of the values. You know, you get what I mean. And we are going to summarize these characteristics, characteristics of this variable uh, with respect to what categories the various observations land up within with respect to this categorical variable. In other words, are they hurt? we'll take all of the carnivores and work out the average REM sleep, for example, and all of the omnivores work out the average REM sleep for them, et cetera, et cetera. But it's no good if there's missing values, particularly with, re with respect to the REM sleep, uh, because if there are missing values, it's difficult to work out averages and stuff. And you might have to like uh, include omit NAs into your code. It's easier for the sake of this, for the sake of this particular tutorial is just to delete all the missing values right in the beginning. When you're dealing with missing values and you're actually analyzing your data, it's not good practice just to have a blanket, remove all the missing values at the beginning and that's that. You really need to think about why values are missing, okay? and and remove missing values when it's appropriate. And I've got a video that talks all about missing values. So go and watch that if you find it confusing. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna drop the missing values from those two variables, right? Then here's where things get interesting, right? Group by, okay, and we're grouping by a variable, vor, and then we're piping that in and then into the summarize function. And here, the, the summarize function is gonna create uh, some new variable headings, right? And they'll be whatever you want. And, and I just use a little two little ticks in which case you can you, you don't need to put underscores if you do that. Average total sleep and maximum total REM sleep. So these are the two things. Now, inter interestingly, sleep total didn't have any missing values. That's why I didn't include that uh, in my uh, dropping in A over there, just so that you know. So average total sleep, that's the new sort of variable that I'm creating as part of my summary, uh, is equal to the function mean. And then the argument in that is which variable you want to have the average of total sleep. So super duper easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, then maximum REM sleep is equal to max, that's the function, and uh, sleep REM is maximum REM sleep. And then I've said, and then view. So let's look at what that does. Voila. 
So we've grouped by, right? So we've grouped by vore. So we've got these four groups, carnivore, herbivore, insectivore, and omnivore. And for each of them, for each of these groups, we've calculated the average total sleep and the maximum REM sleep. Can you see that? Okay, super duper easy. Listen, I hope you found that useful. Stay and watch another video. Don't do drugs, always do this. Don't ever change. Nice to see you guys. Speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye.